evening. It's actually um, 11.15 p.m. Today is August 2nd, 11.15 p.m., which means in under 12 hours now, it will be wheels up. And I will be going home for the first time in three years. I'm having a hard time coming to terms with it. Like all this week, this past week, I've had the worst senioritis. I am having the hardest time concentrating at like work and everything. But then today I just had nasty little butterflies all day. And I've been trying to think like, I'm not a nervous flyer. I'm totally fine with airplanes. I don't love landing. It feels really juddery to me, but whatever. Um, so why have I been so nervous today? I think, I genuinely think it's because a little bit of me is so worried that I won't be able to go. And I've been putting off actually packing my bag, bags, because I think it would just be heartbreaking to like not be able to go and then have to come all the way back home and unpack here. But that's a stupid, th that's a stupid reason. Don't, that's like a 0.001% chance of happening. Don't let it get in my head. Look, here's where we're at now. This is, th that right there is some stuff that needs to be packed. That right there is a lot of the stuff that needs to be packed. Not the bear. He's staying here. Um... I just need to do it. I just need, here's the the other thing. I've got like bottles that are gonna need to be wrapped up, which means I had initially like I had initially thought that I was gonna use this like duffel, soft duffel, because it's easier to carry. But if I've got bottles of wine, I'm just, I'm just worried that it, the bag will get knocked around too much and the bottles will get broken. I think I'm gonna have to go with the big rolly structured bag, which is gonna suck going through the metro. I think I'm going to try it. Okay, so I have like a few different debates to work through. Debate number one, which suitcase to use. I think I'm almost definitely committed to the wheelie structured bag just because it's more built around, I think, and more space as well. I need to make sure that it's not going to be over 23 kilos, but I definitely have a scale somewhere, so that should be okay. Let me get this harsh overhead. Better here. No, let's go back to the, let's go back to the other room. Well, that just looks really yellow. Let's, let's just, let's just all forgive this lighting. Um, so that's the thing. Debate number two is, um, do I take the subway to get to the airport or do I take, do I splash out for an Uber? I don't want to take an Uber, but I'm going to have to leave at like 5.30 in the morning to make sure that I get there on time and do all the, because you have to do, in addition to, I already did the online check-in, but I still have to drop my bag at the check-in. And I have to go through passport check, and I have to go through security, and I'm going to have to do an extra, like, vaccine or um, COVID, like, checkpoint, just to show that I don't have COVID. And I have the test, I have the printout, with the negative result, so that should be okay, but I still have to do it. And there could be a long line for that. So I want to I want to leave here at like 5:30 a.m. and this is my big debate hiccup. Do I basically just take a nap now and then wake up at like 4 a.m. No, and then wake up at like 2 a.m. just kind of tinker around, or do I stay up as long as I need to like get everything in order? I have some laundry that needs to be put away, some little bits and pieces that need to be finished. Do I stay up and do all of that now and then sleep for like three hours and then wake up really groggy? Or do I sleep now, force myself awake, and then do all of that? Oh. I think I'm just going to listen to my body. I'm going to go, I'm going to do whatever I can do now while I'm still up. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. Do that, fall asleep when I can, and uh, work through it. Oh, God. Why am I nervous? I shouldn't be nervous. Going home is, should be happy. It's the happiest thing. My eye itches. That's not a good sign. It should be happy. I am happy. I'm really excited. I think once I get to the gate, it will just be unbridled giddiness. No, I don't know. Who knows? Um, there's also the factor that um, I think this flight not, might not be full of people. 
because only currently only American citizens and American residents are allowed to come into the U.S. And for like a transatlantic flight in the summer, it would be full of tourists. And it might not be full of tourists this time. We shall see. Fingers crossed. Okay, my arm's getting tired from holding you, so I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do this in small, small, small stages. So, you can see, light on, this suitcase. Uh, this one right here. It has to come down. That's step number one. Okay, here's the progress that I've made. I have the big suitcase. It is currently empty. I have... Sorry, I'm spinning you. I have most of what I'm thinking of bringing here. I think that can all fit. We'll see. We'll see. And I, I just keep pacing back and forth, being like, well, should I bring this? Like, what if I need a jacket? Maybe I should bring a jacket. No, don't bring a jacket. There are so many jackets at home. There are so many jackets and covers at home. I should bring a sweater for the plane, though. Help me decide which one to bring. Um, uh, those are too thick and wintry. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna go with the comfy, the comfy hoodie. I'm gonna go with the comfy fleecy hoodie. Cause I think I can get away with wearing black sports pants under this. Cause ain't nobody wanna wear jeans on a cumulative 11 hour trip. I'm just saying. Um, and then in here I have been kind of working through like, what do I need to get rid of. Like, unfortunately, I have a six pack of apples that I never cracked into and there's no way I'm going to eat six apples before I leave. And I have a bowl of cherries that I legit forgot were in my fridge for a couple of days and they're still good. They're still okay, but I just need to eat them because I don't want to waste them. And yes, I poured myself a glass of wine because dinner is heating up and because the bottle needed to be emptied and I am trying to be efficient. Okay? And now I'm kind of like looking at my fridge being like, oh, what's going to go bad in here? Like, I'm not, I know, I just know myself. I'm put it on the counter. I know I'm not going to be hungry tomorrow morning. I know I'm not going to want to eat a lot of food. I just know it. But I'm going to have to. And I'm going to have to throw some of this away, I think. Oh, I hate that. I hate food waste. Like, this is, wait, this hasn't been opened yet. When does this expire? August 19th. I'll get back a week later. Let's risk it. Let's try it. Let's let's experiment. Like, these are not going to last. Maybe I'll hold on to them for now. I might convince myself to have some, like, eggs tomorrow morning. I also have some cheddar that needs to be used because I opened it already. So, this is where I'm at planning-wise. Some of the stuff in here will last. Like, I've got some yogurt that will sit forever. The grapes I might actually take with me to the airport. Let's munch on the plane. We shall see. It depends on how much space I have in my bag. <sighs> this looks, uh, I'm afraid, is not long for this world, unfortunately. <sighs> so that's where we're at. With that. Uh, dinner's not ready yet. And then, other than that, I already took my plastic and that one, plastic and glass recycling out, but I still need to take my paper one out. Um, so that's where I'm at. So plan is, do you know what? I'm having a thought. I'm having a thinky thought. I'm having a thoughty think. I've got some like things, like cookie things that are a bit breakable and I'm worried if they get in a suitcase I'll just get crunched and munched and moved all around. So I'm thinking I've got a couple empty cardboard boxes that aren't too big. And I might just layer some of those things in the cardboard box just for an extra layer of packaging. Is that crazy? Am I overthinking this? Absolutely, I'm overthinking this. Okay. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. It is 12.26. I've made progress. <laughs> this is all... Um, I mean, this actually could probably go in the suitcase, but I think everything, generally everything else is going to be backpack, uh, carry-on stuff. And this is what the suitcase looks like. It's nearly full. I could probably wedge another layer of clothing on, and I kind of, I feel like I don't need to, uh, in terms of, like, the clothes that I want to bring, 
but I want packaging. I want layers. I want cushioning. So I might just take like, you know, like I might, I might wear this. Maybe. Ooh, no, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Um, or like take a couple more like graphic t-shirts, a couple more tank tops and just kind of put a layer on it. It doesn't have to be super pumped up. In fact, it would be better if it's not because it could be heavy. We're making progress, but okay, I'm going to, I'm going to dig out my scale. I'm going to make sure that this isn't 23 kilos, 50 pounds. Ooh, ooh, I'm worried. Well, that took me entirely too long to find that damn scale. Why, past self, did you not put the travel scale with the box of travel stuff? I've got like a full shelf, a little mini shelf here. It's not very organized. I need to work on that. Like all of this is travel stuff. And yet it was in a box under my bed. What the hell? Ugh. But in any case, I found it. Here it is, real retro. Looks like a, an old school alarm clock. And apparently, I am currently, oh, there's a measuring tape on it too. Oh. Um, but I'm currently weighing in around 20 kilos. Max is 23, so I think I'm all right. Good. Um, yeah, just got a couple more things to throw in and then everything else is gonna be backpack. And uh, nice, I haven't eaten yet and it is 12.47 and I wanted to be in bed by one. Oh dear. And I wanted to shower before bed. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna eat. First things first, I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna shower. This is the life, but you know, don't be stressed about a wonderful thing that's going to happen. Today's the day. <laughs> Just after 5 a.m. Hmm. Awake. I think I slept about two and a half hours. Hopefully that means that I will sleep some on the plane, which would be a first. But uh, yeah, today's pre-departure mission, pre-apartment, apartment sure. That didn't work. The mission before leaving the apartment today is um see what food I can take with me. I'm gonna go through all the rest. Um, and like unplug the electrics. Kinda sucks, my hair looks good right now and I'm gonna have to throw it in a bun for the next day. <laughs> oh well, okay. It's fine, don't forget the passport, it'll be fine. Okay, all right, so plugs are unplugged, hot water's turned off. Oh, nearly forgot my uh, micro SD converter USB focus. Thank you. That would have been a not really a disaster. It's fine. So, got the personal item, got my backy packy, suitcases by the door, garbage has been taken out. Okay. Everything else I have on my phone. <sighs> Everything's good. Everything is great. Um, I have to come back here in a couple of hours. I will just simply eat very bad food. All right. I have masks. I'm turning off lights. <sighs> Let's go. Um, when's the last time I recorded something? I think it was like three hours ago. Something like that. I'm here. I got to the airport. I mean, I'm not in the U.S. yet. I'm, I'm in the airport in Paris. But uh, one step closer. Fact, a few steps closer. Uh, no issues with the train. The RER and the metro and all of that. It's all easy. Um, even getting the bag up and down the stairs was okay. It wasn't too heavy. I think. Or maybe I've just been working out so much. Uh -huh. um, and then... The more frustrating thing was just like waiting in line at the check-in desk because they had like the people standing at the stations for about 20 minutes before they actually started processing people. So you're just kind of standing there like. And I'm going on like two hours of sleep, so I think my patience is a bit um, short. <laughs> it's fine. We got through 
that. Um, and then uh, less, it took less time to get through uh, security and passport check combined. So that's all good. And I am here and I stopped at Pret and I got just like a bottle of water for my Duramamina. And some yogurt with granola and honey. And usually I don't want granola because it's not part of my diet, but it's like so little, I think it's fine. And that said, I also got a pound of chocolate because I was so nervous this morning that I was like forcing myself to eat the food that I had left in the fridge and I just wasn't hungry for it. And now I'm starving. So I'm going to try to wolf this down before getting on the plane. Good job, us. We did it. Also, it is so weird filming, like, things, saying things with a mask on. Like, there, now my, you know my mask still exists. It's, it's very strange. First time on a plane in almost two years. I think the last time I was on a plane was um, Christmas 2019, going to England to have Christmas with John. So it's been a minute. And look, it's happening. Ooh, wing seat. Is that good luck? I always think of um, bridesmaids. I'm sitting on the wing. That's exciting. I've got a TV screen. Although I might just sleep. <laughs> Who knows? We made it to Dublin. I was wrong. The flight's full. Lots of people. Maybe the tightest um, layover turnaround. I've had to go through two more passport checks. And only one um, PCR test so far. Check. PCR test check so far. So priorities are where they should be. This is going to be the long one though. Hopefully I can sleep. Alright, plane number two. Out of two. This is the last plane for today. Um, don't have a seatmate yet, but very much could. Also, once again on the wing. This wing is a lot longer. Look at that! Our little buddy who wants to come on the trip with us. Dude's about to have a rude awakening. Well, 
Well, so the bus is over. We are in a car. Here is Grandma. She asked uh, for a, a hair and makeup trailer, so that's as much as I'm going to show of her. Uh, but we've come to Tenuta's, a Kenosha mainstay, and big part of my childhood in Kenosha. And we're just going to go exploring. Oh, I have to get my mask out. Oh, the mask. Okay. I have officially been in the U.S. for two hours, I think. No, wait. Three hours. I've been here for three hours. And already I've gone to a childhood uh, milestone place where we used to go. Because we used to go there on Black Friday, didn't we? To Tenuta's? At some point. I remember that being a tradition. Instead of going shopping, we would just go to Black, go to Tenuta's and get a lot of olive oil and cannolis. Um, and we have now dinner on the thing, which is paninis and uh, tortellini salad and uh, uh, tomato salad, and just sitting and enjoying the breeze, and you can see the lake from here, and I think we're just having a lovely Tuesday evening. I'm so happy to be home. I love you, Grandma. <laughs> I've, um, I've left Grandma at home for a little bit. She's, I mean, you can literally see her house. It's just there, I think. Uh, no. So this brick house, um, Grandma's house is just behind it, on the other side of the street. So she's not that far away. <laughs> but, um, I just wanted to, we, we sat on the porch chatting for like literally an hour and a half after finishing eating. But I wanted to take advantage of the rest of the daylight to come and see the lake. I've missed this lake. I love this lake. This is the great lake that I know best, because obviously Lake Superior is the one in Minnesota, but it's more north. So Michigan is the one that I've lived closest to in terms of great lakes. And there's a few traditions that we have with this lake. Like when we had Thanksgiving at Grandma's house, a lot of us after dinner would come down to like this little area here and just play on the breaker rocks. And to this day, I love climbing on breaker rocks. I don't know if I'll do it today. I might go tomorrow with my dad a little bit. And my dad and I also at one point found like a little, it, it was kind of like a little bay a little bit, but you could, um, it, was, it was really good for skipping stones. So we used to do that here too. And I mean, you can't beat that view. You can't do it. You can try, but you're not gonna. Remember when I said like two minutes ago that I wasn't gonna go out on the breaker rocks today? I'm on the breaker rocks. I couldn't help it. I love it. This is my happy place. I have a lot of happy places. This is my happiest place. Right here. This, this little bay. This, this here. All of this. This is where Dad and I used to come and skip rocks after, like, Thanksgiving dinner. Ah, <sighs> let's see, probably can't get at it from this angle because it's a bit of a, focus please. It's a bit of a steep descent, but over there, there's a pretty easy access. So that might be a thing tomorrow. Not tonight, because Grandma's waiting. Because we have cannolis in the fridge. But, uh, Genuinely, I didn't remember it being so close. It's like only five minutes away from my grandma's house. Oh man, she's so lucky to live here. <laughs> oh, imagine living next to this every day. Ah, the jealousy. I can't lie, I'm fading pretty fast. I'm back from the walk now. I was just sitting, called my dad again. Or again, called my dad. Tried to help grandma with the computer thing, failed utterly. And I'm probably not long for this world, but you know what can make me stay up a little bit longer? Cannoli from Denudas. Oh, yeah. Yum. I'm just going to go ahead and end this tonight because I don't think I'm going to be any more coherent than I am not now. So thanks for coming with me back to my home country. Not yet my home state, but soon. Good night.
is morning in the US. I'm still here. It wasn't a dream. I got here. Um, it's about 8.40 a.m. I woke up at 7. Woke up kind of periodically on and off through the night, but I do that anyway. That's not necessarily worrying. Um, but I was glad to sleep when I did, and I slept as long as I did. And Grandma and I woke up at pretty much the same time, which was convenient for her as well. And now we are going to breakfast, which is the back out of the garage for me to get in. It's too tight otherwise. My dad is on the road. He's in Eau Claire right now to come get me, so it's about four and a half more hours of driving for him. Then we'll have lunch together and then see where the day takes us. Let's go have breakfast. I'm hungry. So, not 24 hours later, <laughs> after arriving in the U.S., I've got some Eggs Benny on homemade bread, plus about five persons serving worth of hash browns. And you've got zucchini bread French toast with a side of bacon. So I'm pretty sure we're living a good life this one this Wednesday morning. Is it a plane? Piece, piece of wood. Is it a Superman? No, no. it's a piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Um, I think I'm in frame. With, when you're wearing sunglasses, you can't always tell. <laughs> what have I done to myself? Your, uh, those aren't for your eyes. That's for your nose. This, this is for my style. Uh, you might hear another voice here. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. He's here now. <laughs> Tell us, say how long it's been since we've last seen each other in person. I, I think it's been like 10 years, give mm. or take. Mm. Yeah, Feels seems like, like it. it anyway. Two and a half, technically. Bird. There's a bird. Oh, there is a bird. Just yeah. a seagull. Yeah. So we've seen wood and we've seen a bird on the lake. So what's next? But um, yeah, he got, what, you got here like an hour ago? Yeah. Not even? And pulled up and grandma was already sitting out on the porch and... I was inside doing, thinking around something, and she goes, Kiara, come outside. I came running, did, did you come running? running okay. out the house, yeah. right into your arms, immediately started crying. <laughs> we missed you too. Oh, good. Thank goodness. I was worried. How do you feel me being back now? Oh, it's so relieved. It's relieved. Been too long. It's been too long. long. Yeah, because yeah, I was, I had such butterflies in my stomach before getting on the on the plane just because like what if something happens and yeah, I can't what, go home well you know I didn't have butterflies but I was right there too I'm like what if something happens mm -hmm. like the whole day before I had a hard time eating which was unfortunate because I had a fridge full of stuff that it wasn't uh, gonna keep so I had to eat it it was uncomfortable but anyway we've we just had lunch with grandma and we she, we had a pizza from Tenuta's that we got last night and now we are walking along the lake so that you can stretch your legs I really hope that's in frame. Very um, uh, John Cleese yeah. of you. And so I can digest now two big old American meals that I've had in a short time span. And then I think not long after that, we're going to hit the road and head out again. So enjoy so, the lake while it lasts. And this is one of our favorite lakes. And this is one of our favorite. I, was I came for a walk here yesterday, too, and I was talking about how you and I used to go to that little bay just down there and skip stones. Oh, we did. Oh, I need to throw a stone. Oh, oh, maybe this isn't the best place to access. No, it's gotta, gotta happen. It's gotta happen. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me make sure that I got the frame set up. Okay. Practice one. Oh. Bing. It's more of like a bing. Throw, I don't think you can skip from here. Mm-hmm. Woo! Can I do one? You feel, will you feel me doing one? Yeah. So, I like them when it kerplunks. I really do. Go closer. Go closer, yeah. Good luck. Don't you... don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I was gonna say don't hurt you either. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I made it in. You did. It did. I heard it. I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> you did well. Oh man, not much of an arc on that one. Well, phase two of the trip home has begun. As in, we said goodbye to Grandma. Bye, Grandma. Thank you. Thank you. And now we are on the road trip. 
Um, we're only going about halfway today, which is only going to be about three hours of driving. It's like the dinkiest road trip ever. Are you just going to stay silent? I am. Yeah. <laughs> is no the only word that you know how to say? No! <laughs> yeah, um, but we're driving to about halfway, and then we'll get somewhere to stay overnight, because poor Baba already drove six hours this morning. So I've got too much more in you, I think. I know you much. drive a lot. You you can do like 15 hour road trips in a 24 hour period if you want to. Anyway. Uh, this is my first road trip in a long time, COVID and all. Yeah, yeah. me too. Not only just because of COVID, because I don't have a car in France. Um, now who's carbon neutral? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> We're not carbon neutral. Uh, sorry, Earth. Yeah, but I think we're just going to be chill on the way back. Got the suitcase there, got the bags here. I think we're just going to kind of live our life on the way. We don't yeah, have anything. Turn up the air conditioner. Oh, the air conditioning's going. Again, not very carbon neutral. Um, I, we don't have anything currently to play music from in the car, because there's just an auxiliary jack, and I don't have a cord for it or anything. Um, so we might have to stop somewhere. Amazon delivery! Boom! <laughs> Amazon Brand new facility. facility. Brand new facility. Boo. New York didn't let you build it there, so you build it here. Boo. So we're going to have to stop somewhere and pick up some electronics, but that's, that's, that's easy as pie. Easy as Norsky Nook pie. Yeah. That's where we're going at some point. We're going to Norsky Nook for some pie. So we are currently on a road that has four lanes, and this is part of my culture shock or or I guess reverse culture shock because this is so much road <laughs> so much road think of all the concrete no oh, no 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 don't think about it at don't all. think about it <laughs> don't about think it. how long it took to dig all of this out some roundabouts but not nearly as many as in Europe what are some other culture shock things I've mentioned recently uh, talking to strangers yeah, it's so normal to talk to strangers. I think that's very much a Midwest thing. I don't think that's yeah, everywhere in the U.S. Yeah, definitely Midwest. Yeah. But like when we were walking um, around Grandma's neighborhood, we literally went by two people that had like a kid in a stroller, and the, the guy said, "Do you remember?" He said, "Like, um, hi there. How are you doing on this fine day?" <laughs> I was like, <Yeah>. "Hello. <laughs> this is a lot <laughs> for someone that I'm not going to stop and talk to." Yeah. It's just like, oh, okay, okay, yep, here we go. It's a fine, fine day. Yeah. And I said earlier, like, I'm having a hard time um, with how you talk to... Um, Check out this behemoth. Um, he's called the... We're going to go buy it. It's called Lamers, which is not very PC. This is a motor coach. Buddy. Um, but I was saying, like, we, whenever you go into a store in France... You have to say hello, and when you leave, you say, okay, thanks, have a nice day. And it's been a bit of a challenge not to say that to everyone here. It's not that it would be poorly received, but it's just like, I don't know, you don't say that. You just go like, okay, thanks. Right? That's pretty much it. Yeah. It might be a little bit kiss-assy to be like, and you have a great day. <laughs> it's very Carol Channing. Have a nice day now. This is my first time driving in two and a half years. First time driving in the US in three years. So, is it like riding a bike? Well, I have to back out of the space first, hang on. Just a momentito. I'm being very demonstrably safe. Here we go. Okay, so far so good. Going to drive. Whee! <laughs> Okay, now is it in there's, drive or is yes, it in... Yes, okay, definitely yeah. in drive. There's a D cool. for drive. Well, there's also an L for low. And also an L. What is low? What does that mean? Uh, that's the, like if you, uh, if it's icy or something and you don't want it to change gears, you could put it in low and oh, it would stay in low. I don't think I've ever once used right. that, that setting. All right. Pay attention, you're trying to drive. <laughs> don't talk to me. All right, experienced driver. How do you think that went? Very well. I, and my... Uh, Stiff joints, thank you. Because <laughs> how many hours have you driven today? Like, cumulatively, like, nine or ten? Yeah. Yeah, probably about nine hours. Yeah. yeah. 
So I took over for a good 25 minutes. You're welcome. And <laughs> and now we are at Dover's Butter Burgers and Frozen Custard. Because you have to when you're in Wisconsin. It's the rule. It's the rule. It's the rule. They know onion rings in Paris. <laughs> wait, wait, let's do that again. Take two. There are no onion rings in Paris. <laughs> but we have them here, so it's fine. And we've, like, decided to share. But I intentionally put a line between what is yours and what is mine. <laughs> Did French use this imaginal line? <laughs> this is the imaginal line. But, like, you eat way faster than I do. <laughs> I feel like I need to protect my real estate. <laughs> Test a real cheese curd. Is there a pull? Is there a pull? Is there a pull? Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Small <laughs> no. pull. Maybe a pull. Oh, doesn't really squeak either, but it's fabulous. It's a little bit of a squeak. Pretty good. Hello. All right. Very happy. Very happy? <laughs> I think that means yes. Oh, it's so dark. How long would you say we've been driving, Ba? Uh, yeah. An hour and a half? No. Hour? An hour? Yeah, just about an hour. Okay. Clearly, I have my glasses on so I can drive safely uh, at night. As you can see, it's pretty dark. It's like 9 p.m. now. Um, and we have decided to... Ooh, that was very loud. We decided to stop at... A rest stop, so that I can get, uh, so I can get the rest of my steps in before midnight. <laughs> stretchy, stretchy. So I think the plan is we're just gonna kind of pace, pace around a touch until uh, my watch goes off or just about, and then we'll get back in the car and drive the rest of the way to Osseo, where we're gonna stop. Rock what, on. What do you think? Yeah, that's How's a good this plan. trip going so far for you, Baba? It's been a great trip. Fantastic trip. I got my group. I got my back. Oh, uh, you just poked me in the eye with a key, but it's okay. I planned it that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, we made it to Osseo, which is about a little over halfway, I think. We're going to have, I'm going to guess, like a three-hour drive tomorrow to get home. Or maybe even less. Maybe only two and a half hours. We'll see. Let's see. I could very easily Google it, but my phone's... Over there. In any case, we are in a Motel 8. The air conditioning is making me laugh. The unit, excuse me, is literally like blowing the air up and making the curtain look, can you see, like totally pregnant. Just, just crazy. Welcome to the Midwest, where the air conditioning is intense. So I think it's worse in like Arizona and places like that. But anyway, it's like 10 p.m. Did you find your book? I did. You found it? Are you happy now? Can you sleep happy? Trey happy. Trey happy. He speaks French. <laughs> you speak some French. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be bedtime for these bozos. I have a bug bite on my back. Oh, life is hard. <gasps> oh, I want to see if there's a Bible in the drawer. That's passe. Mm, I can't open it. I no, there's nothing. Because yeah, yeah. it used to be Bibles, and then for... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. And then for a while, it was um a few... A little... For a while, I found um, a lot of Book of Mormons. Books of oh, Mormon. Books of Mormon. Books of Mormon in the drawers, and now there's just nothing, because people are woke now. Anyway, I'm not saying anything interesting. Good night. What time is it, Bob? I don't know. Microwave. 817. 817. And then it says 8.23. Who knows anymore? My phone says 8.16. Oh, my heavens. Nothing is right. Um, so obviously, it's morning. The curtain here is still multi-pregnant. Um, and we're about to head out and go to Norski Norski. For pie! We're having breakfast pie! No, we're having breakfast and then getting pie to go. Um, and apparently, poor old mother is having a bit of a nightmare at home. 
the bat came in the house last night. But we don't know how they get in, do we? We don't know yet. There's a breach somewhere and they find it. Um, and she does not handle bats very well. Uh, and so she um, evacuated her own bedroom, burrowed into another bedroom, and now she's like, well, he, Dad finds them hysterical. I love bats. They're, they're cool, man. They are cool, man. Um, <laughs> I'm not focused anymore. Um, but she's like, but I don't have my glasses. I need my computer. I can't do anything. Well, go in there. No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to jump at me. Go slowly. Yeah. There was a time where, like, you weren't home at the time, and a bat came in, and it was up to me you had to, deal with it. to swat it out. And I had, like, a broom and was just kind of coaxing it out the front door. And I think it's, like, 2 in the morning at this point. What's even worse, we had been watching a scary movie, oh, yeah, and then yeah. a bat suddenly comes in, and I think we both were just like, Gah! show me, show me your um, your uh, reaction. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is how Dad reacted to the panic <laughs> of being woken up to a bat in your bedroom. <laughs> oh, life is a nonstop barrel of weirdness with this guy. All right, let's go get some pie. Hi, man. <laughs> oh my good God. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Wait, take mine. This is so big. Take yours. Princess Leia. <laughs> this is genuinely the size of my hand. This is bigger than my fist. Oh, I love America so much. I can't lie. This biscuit is beating me. Monster biscuit. It's a monster biscuit. I'm too French for this biscuit. <laughs> Do you agree? Jam is good. That's not my jam. That's your jam. That's my jam. That's my jam. We're there, but it's downtown. We finished breakfast. It doesn't breakfast. matter. It doesn't matter where we go. We got pie. And we're breaking Benjamin. Oh, the band. <laughs> I was like, are you talking about Benjamin, like the guy on the $100 bill? <laughs> I, I'm not rich Thought enough about for the Benjamin, <laughs> baby. Uh, and we've decided that before we motor off, we're going to walk around for like 10, 15, just to digest a little bit. And then we are actually not going to go very far. Noisy truck. Before we stop again, we're going to go to Eau Claire and try to find a place for me to get a COVID test which is something that I'm required to do by the government, by the CDC, uh, three to five days after arriving in the country from an international uh, flight. You have to get a PCR just to prove that you're not super yucking, sick, and contagious. And I would rather do that on the road than once I'm in Minneapolis, because when I'm in Minneapolis, I'm not going to want to accomplish things. Oh, birds! See, that's what I... Okay. Is this lower for bird watching here a bit? I'll be able to look at it. It's a little... Look at the eyes. He's like banded. He's got a little yellow bit at the yeah, end of his got tail. Yeah, a little bit of yellow too, and then a little bit of red oh. on the wings. So we're gonna. We're, it's not gonna be a long this walk because it's kind of starting to rain a little bit. This is a choice spot. He's transfixed. Not even looking at it, so yeah. Well, okay. I'm gonna put the camera away because it's kind of a little bit rainy. Look at the two dogs. Oh, dogs popping it's amazing, out the window. Amazing because they're, the window. they're like they're pals. They're gonna do the thing of like. Yeah, yeah, but there's two of them. They're like, we're, yeah, we're doing it together. We're buddies. We're buddies. We're, <laughs> we're drive buddies. Back. Wee! We love driving in cars. Wee! <laughs> yeah. um, so we had a little bit of a setback with the Walgreens plan. They don't allow walk-ins. And they, they're like, make an appointment at the other place. And the only other appointment that they had was available starting tomorrow, which isn't going to work because we're only here for about 10 more minutes. <laughs> Thank you. So I made an appointment for tomorrow morning at a local place in Minneapolis, and we'll just have to go there. And I think I might try to call them and ask if I can come in today instead, but uh, I don't think they'll allow it. Ugh, this is like French-level bureaucracy, and I was not prepared for that here. But it's fine. We got lemonade from a little... This is, I'm not drinking McDonald's. This is lemonade in a McDonald's cup. Uh, they had a little lemonade stand outside, and, was, and we were just like, what is more industrious and American than that? So we had to support them. And now we're gonna, well, we're just gonna go right through to Mpples, right? Yes. I'm sorry, what was that? Rumples? Mpples. M-P-L-S. Oh, yeah. Okay. Minneapolis. Mpples. Mpples.
Oh, this is it. This is the river. What is the river? Hudson. Hudson. This is the divider between Wisconsin and, and Paradise. <laughs> paradise. <laughs> yeah, this this little this little stretch of water right here. This is the last this is my last like milestone before getting into Minneapolis. So here we go. Or Minnesota. <laughs> Close enough. But it's like it's the thing. Like this is this tells me we're almost home. But Kiara, Minneapolis is the capital of paradise. Well, obviously. Obviously. I think you mean Paisley Park is the capital of paradise. Well, that's, the, that's the summer region. Contentious and <laughs> officially in Minnesota. Yay! Yay! Only fucking two days after getting back to the U.S. To Paris and back in three years. <sighs> We made it at some point. We got here in the end. We got here. Oh, man. Oh, uh, sand pile. I am so ready to see Mommy. I am so ready to unload, to not be in a car anymore. Don't want to do my COVID test, but I have to. I'm back. Oh, bye, Highway. Bye-bye. 237. What'd I say? So it's still St. Paul. You said 220. Well, but we're still in St. Paul. I said Minneapolis is 220-something. You nailed it. Anyway. Oh, my God. We're getting closer. So, like, explain to me why we're not getting off closer to home. So a huge construction project on 35 and 35E and 35W. It's been going on for... Highway by us. It's been going on for years, and... I, I don't know, it's very, it's just taking too long. I'm very frustrated with the whole thing. I'm very shocked. Usually construction goes by in a whiff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't, we don't really look like the wealthiest nation in the world. We've got this 10-year highway project. Someone's bitter. Well, you know, you take your 12-year highway project, and it's going to take a little while. Someone's very bitter. And then, you know, 13 years to build a highway. I'm mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. So, what? How's our? What's our plan of attack for getting home? Oh, so we are going to actually uh, go over on the Lake Street Bridge from. Well, so it's Marshall in St. Paul, and we're going to take that bridge, which will bring us. So we're going to go through some old haunts of mine. We're going to go close to my high school, but not actually next to it. Very close. Very close. And see some other places. We're going to go by Mercado Central. Oh yes. On Lake. Um. Yeah. I'm just going to see what comes up. And then, we're going to see Mama. I used to drive down this road when I was coming home from work. I'm having just the weirdest series of flashbacks and moments. And, oh my god, look at that place. Well, you know, the lawns, right? They're yeah. Just so, where's our green? There used to be, like, somewhere, maybe on this block, maybe on the next block, there was an art car. <laughs> you know, they, they still have art cars, yeah. Of course they do. This is Minneapolis. Oh, yeah. Everything is art here. Yeah. That garden. That's an artful garden. I mean, the, the, the frame is really blocking off the part of the garden that I'm trying to see, but there we are. Love my city. Here we go. Oh my god, 38th. This is my street. Tacos, El Kevin. <laughs> huh? <laughs> is that a new thing? Yeah, right, right, right there. Oh, damn yeah. it, I missed it. <laughs> yeah. So, just for I've perspective, in the other direction is George Floyd Square. Yeah. We're not going there today. Because be priority. Don't run around. Don't yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hardly changed. Back in America. <laughs> Here we are. Dad's running the yellows. <laughs> Here's this the co-op that I co yeah. that we find very expensive but somewhat convenient. And oh my god, we're like three blocks away from home. See now, here's a homework assignment. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is it. We're a block away. We are a block away. Getting out of the way for a siren. Thank you very much. Water Do we still? Is there the car? Still the car here that says Jesus saves? Oh no, that's over here now. It's, it's, it's on the other oh, side of moved. the highway. Yeah. Yeah. We always used to get a reminder that Jesus saves, yeah. and on the other side it was in Spanish. Yeah, and then we had the, the one that said a lion eye on it. That one's over yeah. there too. Yeah. And oh, um, what's this one called? This church is called what? Um, Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I went to preschool there. You did? Yeah. yeah. The only memory that I have of it oh. is they had a bucket of broken Barbie parts. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh Not my god. Go there for oh, very this long. is it. This is the intersection. Oh, this is yeah. it. I used to go down my bus stop that way. It was down that oh, way. Oh, yeah. Now, look how many cars are oh, on the street. Amazing. It's full right? up. No, oh, here we go. Oh my god. But you know why it's full up? <gasps> I don't um, care. Don't tell me. Tell me later. Do you want to park here? Right yeah, I want to park. Okay. Oh my god, there's the house. There's the house. 
Showing my room. Oh my gosh. I love and have missed you too, Mom. <laughs> There's no photo background to cover up the stuff. Well, come here then. Goofy. You missed it. You love it. <coughs> oh. <coughs> is smoke. this the pollution? <coughs> it is smoke. Stuff. Canadian wildfires. Cute. But it's better now, right? Well, it's better, except it's in my lungs, so it's going to take a while to work out. Mm -hmm. And scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you that your daughter is back after three years? Oh, 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the only acceptable answer. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to yell that for not saying 20. <laughs> <laughs> be horrible of me. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, no, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm mm. tired. Time for a nap. <laughs> okay, so I just took a nap a little while ago and woke up from said nap a little early later a while ago and have been going through boxes of clothes that my dad found to be like, I could maybe wear those, I'm wearing one of them right now. Ha 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 ha. And other ones that I don't think I need to keep anymore and we might as well get rid of. And then mom comes out of her office and goes, Do you want a present? And I said, Always. And she gave me this guy! Admiral Akbar, who, um, I had one of these already, and he broke, and I had to throw him away, so now I have a new one. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. Okay. And now apparently there's another one. There's another present. Oof. Oh, my. Okay, well, don't try to figure out what it is. Just open it. Okay. So, plonk you down here. Okay, so. Okay. Oh! Boom. Okay, it's open. Not obligatory to continue living with you wherever that is. Yeah. Wait, oh, I think I know what it is. Oh. Wait, I can't get it out without it's stuck on something. You might have to tighten it up a little bit. Mm, yeah, well, because, like, the little, the, the, the tube got stretched a little bit, crunched, crunched and munched. Oh, my God. Is it um, Midsummer? <gasps> okay, so background. Well, do you want to... Do you want to tell this? Do you want to tell this? Tell the story of why this is important. Um, it was it was one of your dorm room things that disappeared in a move. Yeah, well, because I was in Midsummer Night's Dream in senior year, mm -hmm. and so I, as I don't know if it's exactly the same, so you'll have to tell me. Yeah, well, I mean, this was years ago that I saw it. <gasps> Midsummer Night's Dream. No, it's exactly the same. You know who the illustrator is? Who? Harry Potter illustrator. Oh, dope. Okay. Okay. So it's the full text, all of Midsummer on poster form. Yes. And this was my, yay, you did Shakespeare gift. Mm -hmm. A poster that then came with me to all my dorm rooms and all my schools. And I think it, it just, it got shuffled away somewhere and it never made it mm -hmm. back. It's human. First it's official moment. outing in Minneapolis. We have been rested. Yeah, are you, are you rested? I am. Are you restituted? I don't know what that means. Um, uh, reinvigorated. <laughs> That's not a word. It is now. Okay. Uh, and now we are going to a bakery like three blocks away to go pick up our local farm chair. We're gonna get a bunch of veg and then we're gonna eat it all before we get home. Yeah, but it's like a bakery that's owned by a, friend. a family friend. friend. Yeah. Dink. Um, I went to daycare with his daughter in Walladad, so we've known each other for a good long time. And maybe he'll be there, maybe he won't, but... Hey, right now. Okay, and action. <laughs> oh! Oh, hoo -hoo. cilantro? No, parsley. Yeah. I can't smell it. <laughs> it's so good. It's Cauliflower. Oh! I could do a good curry with this cauliflower. Keep that for the top. Yeah. Espinach. Put that for the top too. It's, oh, this is a long old cucumber. That's a, cucumber. Is it one of those? This is a different kind of cucumber. I don't know. This is a warty cucumber. Corn. Corn. We're on our way to the grocery store and we're about to go buy 
the former site of my favorite restaurant ever, Corinne's. And seeing it like this is genuinely giving me heart palpitations. And I hate it, and I hate it, and I hate it, and I hate it, 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 I hate it. Oh boy, I got an American barbecue. Except the burgers are still finishing. Maybe they're done? Yeah. So we got brats. We got corn. We got butter and salt for the corn. We got tomatoes. We got some grilled zook. Um, we got some radishes that I wanted everybody to eat so they wouldn't be in the fridge anymore. Yeah, buddy. Are you are you gonna have a good meal, Mama? You weirdo. Finally, finally getting the chance to get into my Norski Nook pie that we ordered how many hours ago, Bubba? Twelve. Like twelve hours ago. Oh boy.